commonly found upon worlds with a large orcoid population. The hair squig is a small, parasitic organism. The bodies of hair squigs are long, thin, and worm-like, and as implied by their very name, sport long tufts of a thick, fur-like substance, giving the creatures an appearance that at first glance is evocative of the tails of equine organisms. Like other squigs, hair squigs are a type of fungal organism, and as such, the fur-like structures sported by the creature are speculated to be threads of mycelia as opposed to true hair. Aside from the long fur, the most predominant trait of the hair squig is that of their jaws. The jaws of hair squigs are reminiscent of a lamprey or a leech, with the addition of a pair of long, tusk-like mandibles. These mandibles will pierce the skin of their host before clamping together, locking the squig in place as it feeds upon the skin and blood of their host. With such a rich supply of food, a hair squig can survive upon their host almost indefinitely. Since orcs are naturally hairless, many individuals will attach these squigs to their scalps in order to give them thick ponytails or even full heads of hair, although multiple squigs are needed for the latter. A subspecies of this squig, known as the chin squig, is used in a similar manner, but is attached to the lower jaw of an orc instead of the scalp, so as to give the orc a semblance of a beard. The fur of these creatures will often be dyed in different colours, usually to symbolise tribal or clan allegiances. The saliva of hair squigs also contains antiseptic and antibacterial properties, this combined with their powerful jaws makes them surprisingly useful in the field of orcoid medicine. Some orc pain boys will use a number of these creatures to effectively staple together the open wounds of other orcoids by using their powerful jaws to hold the wound closed. The pain boy will then twist the body off of each squig, effectively decapitating them. Despite this, the squigs are capable of surviving such trauma for several years, thanks to feeding upon the blood and dead flesh around the host's wound, with the creature's jaws only releasing their grip once it finally perishes. Many orcs have been known to compare the number and size of the scars left by these creatures in order to accentuate just how tough they are to others.